Well, most pet owners have some story about Fido freaking out and chewing your shoes or a cat going crazy and scratching furniture. Well, you may be able to change their behavior through your home's decor. Eric Stromer is a design expert and joins us live to talk about Paw Shui. Good morning, Eric. Hi, how are you? I'm doing great. Fill us in. What is Paw Shui? Well, Pa Shui is basically my take on Feng Shui, which is the ancient Chinese tradition of integrating mind, body, and spirit in the home so it feels peaceful, like a great floor plan in any home. And I took it the next step further, you know, using Hazel the Labradoodle here as my test subject. This is my pet, and she, she's been with us for about seven years now. And it's like, how, how do we make our furniture and our, and our home life all feel integrated as one and then integrate pets. I don't know if you know this, but 84% of Americans consider their pets to be part of the family. So why not take form, function, meld it all together into one great package like this burnt orange mid-century looking couch that looks like it could stand on its own. Well, I love that. And that's your first point is that you've got to designate a space for your pet, right? They need their own placement. And is where you put that, that beautiful bed, uh, is that important as well? It really is. Good question. I mean, you don't want to have the pet bed close to a door, an exit, or an entrance, even under a window or in a corner, because there's too much energy around that, and it's going to make them feel like they can't rest, and they're always going to be vigilant looking to see if they can protect their castle. So I always like to put the pet bed in a safe area where they can have a 360-degree view. They feel safe, secure. You know, just like dogs are from the pack mentality, they like to be in that den like a, a crate like this, you know. A lot of times I think if you walk away from the home and you don't want your dog getting into trouble, crate training is a great option. Petco designed this great piece of furniture that not only is a, is a crate, but also it looks like an end table where you could have family photos, a lamp or a, a vase with flowers in it, so that kind of thing. I think that's great. You know, you really suggest pay attention to the space um, as well. Things like mirrors, um, how, how can they cause a problem? Well, for example, dogs sometimes don't understand that it is a mirror and they can literally run right into a mirror, like greyhounds in particular have the propensity to just take off and run right into a mirror. So you have to be careful. Check it out. Audition the mirror first with your pet. Make sure that it doesn't freak them out. You don't want them perceiving that there's another threatening animal in the house. You know, they realize, uh-oh, there's another Labradoodle. Wait a minute, he's going to try and get my food. Oh, wait a minute, that's me. It takes a minute for them to kind of figure that out. So always kind of audition those things in the pet's life before you introduce it into the home. I always thought it was because my cat was conceited that he looks at himself in the mirror. So it's good to know he might, he might be threatened. How about food? Well, you know, your, your, your cat, I've heard in Milwaukee that your cat is pretty conceited. So maybe we've got to <laughs> deal with that a little bit. Some issues. It's true. You know, it, uh, by the way, I know that cat's been hanging out at that Pabst Hotel down the old area of Milwaukee. I just stayed there a couple of weeks ago. I know if I were a cat drinking beer, that's where I'd go. It's true. You know, he's really fit into the Milwaukee culture very well here. He's, you know, he, he's, he's his own beast in its own right. What about food? What I, uh, do we have what, to be careful for when storing pr food properly, keeping it in places that, that make sense for it? Yeah, good, good question. I mean, you know, you want to consider your pet food area just like your own kitchen where you're using things like stainless steel or glass. They're easy to clean, they're sanitary, and they look good. So it's, it's kind of that same idea again, introducing real home in, in kitchen stuff to your pet's life. It looks good sitting on the floor. It also is clean and safe. Can I put beer in that water fountain for my cat? I don't know why you wouldn't. I do. <laughs> I love it. Do you have any last tips for us for our pets not wreaking havoc, Eric? Yeah, yeah. Just, just treat your pets like they're part of the family and make sure they feel safe and secure. And, you know, if you have any questions and you want to know where to put your feet, get them up on this cat pet ottoman. You can have your feet up, but you can also have the cat live inside it. Or bring out that spring-loaded feather thing where your cat can box into, the, into that thing and train like Muhammad Ali. I love that product, too. All right. I think you're probably a pretty good pet owner, it sounds like. Thanks for being here on The Morning Blend, Eric. Thanks. Check out Petco.com for all these great products. Will do.